What up, street talk, street guys, street vlogs? Or come to us. All right. Kia wearing my SWAT team aesthetic. I have the right to bear arms. B A R E arms. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, the thought. Uh, this one is on auto telic photography, uh, photography for photography's sake. Um, also, like pure photos. So, um, what is pure photos? Uh, so, I think, I mean, this is where I'm so happy that I deleted my Instagram in 2017. Well, I think at the time I had what, like 60,000 followers or something. Um, and it's kind of like the analogy I would give is before you were Neo plugged into the matrix, you had that thing plugged into the back of your brain. And then afterwards, what you did was you unplugged yourself, you pulled that thing out of the back of your head. And then certainly the adjustment period is painful, but you take the red pill to take the red pill. Um, <laughs> take the red pill and then uh, you finna have freedom, right? And the thing is that like, I mean, I think this is where Matrix is such a good analogy to real life is like, would you prefer a shittier, realer, more freedom, pure reality? Or would you prefer the blue pill, fairy tale land, Netflix, you know, Reddit land, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... I think this is uh, critical because, uh, okay, so we've been living here in LA for like close to two months. I would say like one month, three weeks, maybe. And I think especially with uh, technology and stuff, we all just kind of live in a fantasy land. So for example, uh, even just peering at my next door neighbors, I'm just like, I'm actually more shocked. I'm like, y'all actually even have time to watch TV and shows, it's like pretty jarring. Even like once I randomly woke up at like 2 a.m. and I would see my neighbor like watching something on the TVs, right? Um, he actually, uh, pro fact, pro tip, um, the, the key to success is uh, via negativas. If you want to become more successful and a lot more productive and life happier in life and uh, less distracted and but 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 better. Ooh, we got the pinks. Good job, Apple Photos team. Oh, yo, if you want me to do a talk at the Apple Photos team in Washington, shoot me an email, Eric at Ericim.com. I do it for my favorite price, three ninety nine. Okay, so the thoughts. Um, uh, yeah, so. I don't know, it's funny, like, I even, like, oh, like, I'm like, I'm like, intelligent, smart people, it's like, y'all still watch TV? Ooh, nice sunrise. Um, yeah. Nice sunrise. Uh, it's like, y'all still watch TV? Like, I'm like, is you, is you done? Like, are you guys stupid? Like, <laughs> um, like, for example, it's like, it's funny because even this notion of TV television, I mean, I have a simple heuristic. It's like people who watch television, people who don't. And I say television very broadly, which means TV shows, movies, Disney Plus, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so, yeah. All right, this is where I effing love Wait. LA, the beautiful sunrise. To me, the sun is the ultimate uh, sun god. You got more sunlight, you got more happinesses. Uh, yeah, I'm powered by the sun. Not powered by plants. Only uh, fake virtue, pseudo virtue seeking folks like to be powered by plants is my uh, general thought. Anyways, so uh, Alright, so going back to the, the topic at hand uh, oh, What smells here? <laughs> Bruce Gilden has a great quote If you can smell the streets, then it's a great street photograph I mean, it's a pretty good quote I mean, it smells an important thing um, 
So Yeah, I think the reason why this is such an important thought and descriptor is that I don't know, it's just like uh, I don't know, I think like all forms of watching external media is like a little bit like low-key pornography in so far much as like typically what are most of these shows and the movies and blah blahs about oh yeah yes, I'm nice. um they're typically about other people living their lives and stuff and i mean like and i think the the, the problem about most media it's kind of like a brave new world right where it ain't like Big Brother 1984 where everyone's getting censored. No, 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 no's. It's like, we are all distracted by the Netflix and the YouTubies and the Disney, Disney Pluses and stuff like that and all these uh, silly movies, right? Rather than uh, actually <laughs> doing things herself, right? So, I mean, so, so, so some th uh, simple thoughts, right? So... A lot of people watch these like Marvel superhero movies, right? Very simple thought. The five, 10, 20 hours you watch <laughs> watching the Avengers for like 50 hours plus, right? I actually stopped watching all that stuff after Disney bought it out. Uh, um, just lift the weights yourself. Look superhero yourself. Get, you, you get the guns yourself. Get the juice. Um, yeah, even since becoming a little bodybuilder. Next time someone asks me, is like, what, what am I? I'm, like, I'm a bodybuilder. Or you better yeah, say, say you're a male stripper. <laughs> um, never give people a straight answer. It's b -b 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 boring. And yeah, actually, I have another thought too is, uh, yeah, I think in life maybe, oh yeah, come to this uh, platform area in LA. It's actually pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, you see all this place? It's pretty fun. Um, there's even a blue bottle here. So, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's like the media tends to disempower us and distract us. And that tends to be, all right, so we live in the year 2023. We're so, I think, it's like, why are we still using blow dry? Like, to blow I think like I, I imagine it's like I think it'd be much more effective if we had just a big ass Dyson that would just suck up all the the foliages and plants and stuff like that. Or like that little thing there too. Uh that's a that's that shit I do like. Um follow that um so yeah I think uh I don't know I think I think the reason why it's a big problem is that like or let me example like video games right Let's play, play Diablo, World of Warcraft, I don't know, any of these video games, right? Is that like your character running around this open world? Is it more interesting you do in the real world? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, does it make more sense for you to do in real life, IRL? And, and actually, my thought is the real, the true artist, the great artist, requires much muscular strength, right? Um, I mean, I, I've been experimenting more. Like, I, I, I quit going to the gym because, honestly, here in L.A., all the L.A. fitness has sucked. It, it is. I'm just, like, I'm kind of over it. I mean, I still love the gym, but then I kind of this epiphany is that, for me, the ideal gym would be some sort of, like, open-air gym in the direct light, uh, in the direct sun, outdoors. I could not find an option. Uh, I mean, the closest thing is Gold's Gym Venice, but I'm like, I'm finna drive like 30 minutes there, 40 minutes back, stuck in traffic. I'm like, nah, not about that. Um, and I already conquered that gym anyways. Just just go on uh, YouTube or Google, search Eric Kim uh, Gold's Gym Venice, 330-pound uh, golden dumbbells. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's why I've been doing more of my off-the-grid workouts. I still have my... Texas power bar, squat bar, that I bought like hey, a few months back that I used to uh, Atlas lift my thousand pounds at the, the Crunch Fitness Gym that I used to go back in uh, in uh, Garden Grove, Anaheim. Um, yeah, so since I've already done Dende, I'm like, yeah, I guess I could keep doing this and get up to 
1,500, 2,000 pounds. I have zero doubt that I, I could do it or whatever. But uh, now I'm just kind of more interested in, uh, I don't know, like experimenting, saving time, trying out different things. Good morning. Uh, trying out uh, different things. Um, so like a, a funny innovation that I did was <clears throat> I went to Home Depot. Like for a while, I was like waking up at like 4, 4.30, 5, super early in the mornings for like no apparent reason. I would just go to the Home Depot on... Home Depot on Jefferson? Is that kind of close to Marina? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think Home Depot on Jefferson. Like, apparently it's actually the biggest Home Depot in America, which means the world, I guess, after the one in San Francisco. And a huge place it did. And I, I found these, like, cinder blocks. I'm like, huh, maybe I could use these in stuck and make it like a ghetto, like, like, power rack, rack pole, etc. And uh, I think that was a I think that was a good idea because uh <laughs> so I, I so each of these cinder blocks is like literally just two bucks it's crazy right and also i found that an unattended side workout is when you're when you're picking up the the cinder blocks with your fingers right technically you're building your finger and your grip strength which i think is real strength right and then after that uh Gotta go into the light. It's cold AF in the shade. I, 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 I've I been teaching Sen his like two years, nine months now. Like, if you're in the shade, you're oh. <laughs> If you're the, the light, it's like, ah, that's it. It's like, it feels good, right? Uh, yeah, cold is, the sun is, oh, it's good. I can't be fucked waiting. Um, <laughs> that's, that's also the, the best new phrase I learned from the Brits. Can't be fucked. Can't be fucked, right? Um, also in terms of clothes right like now that winter is upon us even in LA it's funny it's like during the day hopefully fingers crossed when the weather's good I can just go topless and super effing nice but like before the sun come out when the sun before it come right like in the morning or in the evening it actually gets pretty cold um, I mean cold is relative it's like you're not wearing like a goose jacket right but yeah, it can get actually uh, pretty cold. So I have this notion of like minimum viable clothing. Still just, just go on Amazon, just get some like what, merino wool leggings. Uh, I think the Minus, was it the Smart Wool brand? Minus 30, I don't even remember. Uh, merino wool leggings is good. Just pair it with some athletic shorts. I have the Lululemon uh, licensed train ones. I have my Air Kim uh, silk tank top on with uh, this just uh, Muji sleeveless vest I got in Korea for like 20 bucks. Um, I ran a hair gel. It's coming two days. So I'm just wearing a hat, but I'm wearing my SWAT team aesthetic. SWAT. And it's funny because like people say it's matte black, but I think maybe less than saying matte black. I like this like idea of like low reflective, low reflectivity. I went to the when I was also at Home Depot, and I'm just like trying to figure out the optimal color to paint my rims and my hubcaps on the on the um, the Lamborghini. Uh, Kuntaj Prius, right? Uh, yeah, I, I found this like automotive, like low reflective detailing paint. And I think it's pretty cool because in the evening, like the tires disappear, <laughs> like the, the tires and the rims and everything disappears. It's pretty cool. Cause like, it's not just a matte look, it's like a low reflect. So like, essentially you want to become invisible. So the whole theory behind this, like murdered out all black, everything, matte black look, on uh, at least cars is you kind of want it to look like a stealth jet bomber you don't want it to be seen but then also i find it like a little bit ironic because if you really really wanted to be super stealth right and you drive a car you wouldn't want to drive a flashy car like even an amg g-wagon or a lamborghini or whatever right I mean, in theory, you would just do like a murdered out matte black jet fighter Prius because Priuses are super low key. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because I think it's like, uh, I was talking to uh, my friend uh, Justice back in uh, the OC. Oh, if you want to do uh, car vinyl wraps for your car, uh, Justice, he runs what? The skate shop in the Garden Grove? What's this place called? 
Legends. Just go to Legends uh, Skate Shop and just ask him to wrap your card. Tell me, uh, Eric Kim, I uh, sent you. Anyways, so uh, <laughs> I was talking to him. Like, it's like, it's like you know, if you did a crime you getaway vehicle, like, what would be the best ve uh, getaway vehicle? Like, Honestly, a car like girl. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, like white Prius. Can you imagine like cops and be like, oh, you know, this guy just robbed a bank. He's like, what do you drive off in? <laughs> white Prius. It's like, hmm. <laughs> white unmarked Prius in Los Angeles, Southern California, LA. And that would be good too because 99.99% .99 of car chases uh, end not out of a speed chase is just because the, 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 the suspect just runs out of gasoline, right? But get yeah, like a, a white Prius, a white Prius Prime. What? I think if you have a full charge plus full uh, tank of gas, did you get like what six hundred miles? I'm like, yo, go 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 the distance. So yeah, I think uh, that's the thought. But anyways, so back to uh, pure joy, pure photos, auto T like uh, photography. So auto means self, right? Like automatic. Uh, Tilik, telos means like purpose, end goal thing. Uh, so auto Tilik means you do something for the sake of it. You don't do it because like you finna get licensed. Like, like it's super easy, guys. The it's all it's all via negativa. Um, uh, figuring out what to get rid of, right? So delete your Instagram. Stop using Facebook. Stop using Twitter X. Stop using Snapchat. YouTube is everything like my my personal uh, thought is that with social media or your phone I have, a, I have a simple practice I've been doing for a long time every single day delete at least what app for your phone ideally two three four five six seven eight nine ten right or just do a fresh reset and just delete all your apps and then just reinstall the ones that uh, you're like good morning um, it's like they're making some good progress here oh yeah beautiful morning Oh, the good thing about being up here, beautiful views here. Okay, so some, uh, oh yeah, looks like they're making a new restaurant here. Nice. So yeah, actually some uh, fun intels, uh, the reason why Culver City, downtown Culver City, yo, check out this view. So that big black building is the Amazon building, Amazon Studios back there. Yo, check out these views. The colors, dude, the colors, oh yeah. Nice, in Culver City. Apparently that's where, uh, when they filmed The Wizard of Oz in Culver City, there's like a hundred munchkins who lived in that hotel. Look at this view, got the fields down there. Oh yeah, paradise. That's so funny, I, I wrote the essay the other day, the... Yeah, just just keep climbing. Um, mm, it's one of the coffee here. And actually it's interesting, so this is where Amazon's kind of taking over, and Culver City is going to become the next Hollywood. Look at that it's like a 007 billboard like i love james bond i wonder what's gonna happen oh yeah when you're in the direct sun oh this is the best <laughs> sun god babies get the direct light once you get the direct light anything is possible everything feels good it's got a warm-up um yeah and actually i have a theory that human beings we just like plants except we just move a little bit uh faster and uh yeah, I think also the reason why people like to be like super high top, getting the views, is kind of feel like you're the man in the high castle. You kind of just like panopticon view of everything. Pan means panoramic. Opticon means optical. You can see everything, right? You can see all this stuff, right? And it makes you feel good. Um, and yeah, my, my recipe for happiness is simple. I uh, call it the bear lifestyle. Apparently bears walk, what, 50 miles a day? I don't know, I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, alas, the, the mentality is good. Um, and actually, yeah, I think uh, the reason why LA is so good too, right? It really is kind of the center of media and everything in between. Um, uh, is there more light there? Um, yeah, because it, it seems, okay, it's like um, people have an infinite 
appetite for entertainment, media, etc. Right? So you have the AirBuds, AirBuds Pros on, AirBuds Pros, Pros, Pros Max. You always on your iPhones, whatever is right. And actually, I have a simple thought to success too. Just like super simple. Like obviously, you probably need like a phone or some sort of smartphone or whatever is for Google Maps or whatever is right. Um, I mean. Uh, I could just tell you what I do, right? It's, I just have an iPhone SE, the cheapest one, even though I could afford a billion iPhone Pros. Uh, and then the the general thought is, I was like thinking, I, I keep thinking about this, right? Until the next iPhone is lighter and smaller than the iPhone SE, then it ain't worth quote quote up. I uh, continue your thoughts. Oh yeah, look at that light, isn't that beautiful? Um, all right and actually yeah just uh, keep things in airplane mode so your phone you don't get distracted oh another pro tip apple um if you want to really make your ui ux better right you ever like driving or your know, iphone ipad and then like it randomly just like has a pop-up notification it's like oh connect to the starbucks wi-fi or to the phil's coffee and it's always powered by meraki or Morocco or something like that and then it just kind of distracts you just turn turn that turn that off it's uh Quite distracting just make it opt-in oh yeah look at that apparently jeff bezos bought this out too right um yeah apparently uh and i think this is why it's a good idea to come to culver and uh yeah because apparently uh, apple and uh, amazon are low-key buying out the cities it's probably uh, a good uh, time to be here uh, yeah, stay in the stay in the sun um don't be a a lowlander in the the darkness right um so Oh yeah, so as long as the new iPhone ain't bigger than it is. Okay. okay, so rather than upgrading your iPhone, right? It's crazy, it's like, it's like, <laughs> I just had the pivot, I'm like fucking updated my iPad to the new OS, right? Ever since that, like, I'm trying to load a photo, it takes like fucking five hours to load a photo. It's insanely, slow. and then, I mean, the iPhone SE has always had bugs, but what else? But, come on, iPad Pro guys, come on, this has M1 chip. It's already outdated. <laughs> we already have the M3, M3. Okay. Oh, also another pro tip. Um, uh, Apple marketing team, you're watching this. A good marketing strategy. I, I kind of actually do like the the um, the new MacBook uh, Pro, the, the 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 super black one. Um, it's funny. You call it space gray and it's called space black. I'm like, come on, you can't get better. I call it like. Uh, just call it like super black or something, right? Um, and uh, another thought too is, uh, I actually did like that scary fast uh, thing. It's like scary fast, right? And also, uh, it's like like eye turning, head blowing, like all these all these uh, problems about marketing for apples. Um, so the big critical issues is, I think uh, the reason why Apple's marketing is becoming a little bit weird and bizarre. They're trying to say two things. It's like titanium dot so light dot so strong dot so pro it's like yo that's like ain't nobody could memorize that right um like my simple thought for iphone uh pro titanium just call it it's like become the titan <laughs> or <laughs> um yeah because everyone knows that being a titan is a good thing become a titan or um because it's like thought is it's like why do we upgrade our devices and their phones and stuff like that essentially we want to become the thing we wish that it helps us become right so titanium is super fat like for example <clears throat> if you're curious these glasses i've been wearing for like over a decade Lindbergh glasses um same ones that apparently bill gates used l-i-n-d-b-e-r-g from danish i think i first heard about it because like I need new glasses. It may have titanium and no screws, whatever. And I'm like, it's good enough for Bill Gates. It's good enough for me. And then I think when I was in Calcutta, India, um, I bought it for like 700 bucks. And this is in India, right? But it's lasted me over a decade. And I just swap out the lenses. Whenever I go to Mexico, get the Crizal glasses, C-R-I-Z-A-L. I think they're also owned by Luxor Exotica or whatever. Um, just get the most expensive lenses. And the reason why I would never, never, ever, ever, ever get uh, LASIK uh, even with Cindy, she got LASIK uh, after a decade. What, like her eyes are starting to like her vision's getting poorer. Um, issues with reflectivity, dry eyes. I uh, yeah, not don't don't get LASIK. And then 
it's funny too because uh, a wisdom that I learned from a best friend Nassim Taleb is don't ask people what you should do just look at them and just see what they do so for example uh, <laughs> have you noticed that all eye doctors all of them wear glasses none of them had done LASIK and the thing too is like the technology for LASIK and all this stuff is going to keep evolving. So can you imagine, okay, like you have glasses in theory, you could wear for another 30, 40, 50 years with LASIK. You probably got to do another treatment, like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Right. And at first, the only reason I didn't like glasses was kind of an aesthetic thing is that like glasses weren't cool, I guess. But now, like since all the rappers and Migos start wearing glasses, whether real or fake, they're cool again, I guess. So just just wait it out. Um, yeah, don't don't get the Lasix. Um, and it's also funny too, because ultimately, what makes one handsome or attractive or whatevs, it's kind of like your jaw, your jawline, your masculinity, your testosterone. Good morning, Lisa. It's uh, your jawline. Hi, Lisa. How's the doggy? How's, how's the Red Wings? Good, good. How are you? You keeping, keeping away the bad guys? Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, you got to think extreme longevity. Um, oh, yeah, also being ahead of the curve. Dude, <laughs> all in on AI, baby. This is like... This is the next internet. AI is the future. Artificial intelligence. Airkim.ai. Stay posted. All right, continuing our, our spirit of thoughts. Yeah, so also, um, you know, vlogging did it. So, what is the secret to vlogging? Uh, I mean, very simple thoughts. You can just do on your iPhone, iPhone Pros, iPhone Pro, Pros Max, iPad, iPad Pros. Blah, blah, blah. I think the big secret is uh, using the back camera. Using the back camera to uh, ultra wide back camera, you essentially turn into a ghetto GoPro and have the, the Apple logo facing use. And I think the reason why this is such a good strategy is that often when you're doing a selfie video, or even you know how vloggers have the tilting LCD screen make you look at your face, I don't personally like it because it makes you too self conscious. Like the ultimate thing with vlogging, vlogging is to become mindless stream of consciousness that you use, you know, you don't become aware of the camera. And also the reason why I like doing the street vlogging, street thinking, street philosopher, is that the best thoughts come to you while thinking. I mean, if Nietzsche was alive still today, he would have loved being a vlogger, right? Um, I mean, critical flaws of uh, philosophers. Nietzsche says uh, the big issue of philosophers is that um, they don't have good knowledge of uh, history, which is probably true. Um, also, the big issue of philosophers, I think, none of, like none of them lift weights. It's like, it's like, can you lift four plates, five plates, six plates, seven plates? Have you even seen ten plates, bro? Over ten plates. Fun facts: When uh, EK fucked up the internet, did the Atlas of the thousand pounds? What fifty-five pound uh, Texas squad power bar? 55 pounder yo <laughs> visualize this i loaded up 10 plates clipped it got be safe and then i did my ghetto air kim braid rope thing clip clipped on what 25 25 and a 2.5 and i yeah i got it up no yep, fine <laughs> people like so confused like you know you know use doing something good when people like you know, some people are on steroids, dot, 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 but it don't look like they're on steroids. Referring to me, right? I was like, don't be jealous. Don't be jelly. Don't be envious because I'm, I'm more jacked than you, right? Um, and actually, I think that's the big thing too, is that like people only hate on you because they measure their self-worth comparing themselves to you yeah. Oh, wow. I just realized this. Hmm. Maybe this is where Apple is taking over. So, look at, look, always look at the footers, right? 
Apple original film. Oh, that movie is actually about Apple? Oh, what? Imperative Entertainment, Paramount. It's an Apple movie. Oh, wow. So, oh man, Apple's smart. Bankroll in the movies. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Chris, like. <laughs> I mean, that is like. Seems like people are so desperate to have people watch them. Okay, so some uh, some some critiques, right? Okay, so good morning. Nice doggy. Thank you. Nice vibrams. Oh, thank you. Do you have a pair? I used to run in them exclusively. Oh, why'd you get rid of them? I needed more support. I why? I don't know. Um, but I ran in. Do you remember the ones with the laces? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I what did you skate like foot pain or something yeah, like that? Yeah. But I still have my like KSOs. Oh, I the KSOs use. are fire. These ones yeah. are the LX model. Mm -hmm. So they're just easier to slip on and off. But yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, one thing I've been doing, you know, the, the walking path by the, the Whole Foods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've just been doing these short distance sprints. Oh. Because uh, I, I, I used to be into, I remember mean, this back in college, and I, I used to do it like with these. But then like, I got so many knee pains, so I've just yeah. been doing short distance sprints, so it's like 30 seconds all out. Amazing. It looks like all my knee pains have gone away. Amazing. Have you, you tried run, that? You, I haven't tried it yet. Do you run distances? No, like, no. for me, uh, I mean, I have a theory that, I mean, I might be the only one to, I think that, like, long distance running, it's... Uh, Not good for your body. <laughs> I don't think it's good for your body. I mean, like, just look at, look, look at all the ultra marathoners. They all look like gazelles who are about to die over and pull over. Yeah. But you look at, like, the short distance sprinters, they all look like demigods. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever tried the sprintings? No, I'm, I hate sprinting. Oh, it's just I boring. I hate sprinting. I can do long distance, but... Uh, uh -uh. Do, you, do you lift weights? Um, I do some cross training, but not weights. Okay, so, I mean, uh, one thing I just did was... Um, you know, on Amazon or Rogue Fitness, you could buy those uh, strongman sandbags. Uh -huh. So I just bought a sandbag and I went to the playground. I stole a bunch of sand. So one thing I just been doing for fun was I just picked up um, the, I mean, the one I have is like a 400 pounder and I filled it up halfway. So it's maybe 200 pounds. So I just pick it up and I'll walk it out and I throw it down. And actually, I think, uh, especially if you're into running or long distance running, no, yeah, I'm I like, I'm sure it's like, it's not going to hurt. No, it definitely doesn't. Frustrate. I do, actually, no, I do lift weights. I haven't gone to my, I do a weekly, Oh, cool. And I just, I, I mean, you look fit. Your legs look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. training for a marathon, so it's, it should be. How, how many miles is the marathon? 26.2. How do you, okay, so you know when you're running the marathon, you're like, I can't do it no more? How do you push through? Mentally. Just like, that's why you do your, it just, I just don't think about it. I don't know. You, I don't you're know. a tough cookie. What's your name? Emily. Emily? Nice to meet you, Emily. Nice I'm you. Eric. All right, man. Well, what's what's what doggy's name? Her name is Josie. Josie? Yeah. You ever try to get Josie a little beaver and five fingers for the doggies? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would just uh, rethink the... The cushion, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, because um, even one thing, because I used to have, what, like running shoes? It. Yeah, and I also, like, um, well, I mean, I don't know if this will work for you too, Emily. You know you go to the beach, try just bare front running in the sand. Oh, no, I used to do that a lot. Well, that's smart, because, like, I used to wear, what, the all the running shoes with cushion support, and I had plantar fasciitis for years. Oh. Ever since I switched to these, it all went away, surprisingly. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, have a good one, Emily. See you later. All right. Um, all right, so uh, some critiques. Okay. I've been seeing this billboard effing everywhere, right? So first of all, there's, 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 there's too much going on. Uh, all right, this title. Killers of the Flower Moon. This like, like this makes no sense, right? Martin Scorsese. Everyone loves Martin Scorsese, but like it's not super apparent that Martin Scorsese does it, right? Leonardo DiCaprio, I know this guy. This guy's cool, right? I guess that's Robert De Niro. I don't really look like Robert De Niro. I'm not sure who that is. And like, I'm like, I'm not sure what. You gotta, you gotta just like keep it simple, right? Yeah, keep it simple. Hit it with a simple stick. Um, huh? It looks like everyone does check out my beer from Five Fingers. Yeah. No soul is the way. Yeah, everyone's like. <laughs> like how do you know it's like somebody's uh it's like if you wear brooks new balances or even worse the what the hoka hoka h-o-k no more kush 
just okay this is just like the simple thought right it's like can you imagine doing the coitus with a condom like that thick that much foam probably not a good idea uh right this is like and actually the thing i've found too is like the good thing with wearing the vibram five fingers or just going barefoot whenever you can is uh you walk more naturally like what they say with a uh, running you do the heel foot strike but then what you do a barefoot or with the vibrams you do the midfoot strikes and uh yeah marathon people like to do marathon. i mean like i mean certainly anyone could do anything that they want i mean even runners know that run long distance running ain't that good for them but why even run a marathon isn't there a story too it's like that guy who had him move the fire to Olympus and he ran full out sprinted for like a really long distance, passed the torch and he died or something like that. And then it's like, think about it this way. It's like, would you rather be the beast or be the gazelle who could run like 500 trillion miles is uh, the general thought. Uh, I would prefer to, uh, to be the beast. And I mean like, I mean like certainly like everyone is permitted to do whatever they want. Uh, but I mean, my thought, uh, <laughs> I just don't think quote unquote running is masculine or jogging. I'm like, you don't look it, like it. Like it looks unesthetic. It's like anyone who's running, who's a runner, a jogger, whatever, marathoner, half marathoner. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it just it just <laughs> doesn't look cool. It's like keep it simple. Either walk long distances. Humans are meant for walking, not running, or short distance sprinting. Like. Use a use a lion about to kill the the thing. I mean, I think the the reason why people do like the the running is that like the social. It's a faster way to to see the world. But uh, yeah, not not for uh, physical fitness. I mean, just heavyweight lifting. Oh, so anyways, so some uh, fitness innovations I've done include uh, like so rack up the 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 barbell super high up. On a rack or something like that pick it up walk it out um and just walk it back a little bit and then walk it back like i it looked like i was able to easily do this with four plates use a mixed grip and chalk and i think my theory is when you rack pull it or deadlift or whatever you want to do and you walk it out you actually maximize your walking mobilities strength whatever's and it does seem that i mean i can't say for certain but uh any sort of exercises in which you're walking are good and standing, anything in which you're sitting or on your back, I think is bad. And maybe this is where injury happens. Like for example, what is 99.99% of the injuries you guys see guys gym? Always some sort of military press, overhead press, um, bench press, <laughs> any sort of pressing motion. It's funny because like, it's like we call weight lifting not weight pressing right <laughs> uh yeah um oh another thought too with super sports cars lamborghini's a good idea with the lamborghini electric cars i mean lamborghini is just like an expensive audi which is expensive volkswagen but uh yeah electric which is a good idea all right so anyways um to continue the thoughts and to continue the the thriving photos out of pure joy yeah like delete all your social medias delete all these silly apps from your phone super zen focus um put it to your own website blog uh wordpress.org use bluehost.com or ionos.com uh turn off stats and all these other silly metrics. And I think the secret and the key is yeah, bear lifestyle 50 miles a day. Oh, so uh, subscribe to ChatGPT Pro. Uh, <laughs> created the Air Kimbot. Just Google Air Kimbot, it's uh, live now. Also created this thing called Philosophobot. It's funny because actually ChatGPT suggested a name for it, but ultimately I don't like it because coming out with names is half the fun of something. Is half the fun. Um, 
even the even the photographer Alex Soth, he he said something that was interesting in one of his books I read is that like his favorite thing about photography photo projects is coming up with a name for the photo project. And actually, I think names are really important. Like like Seneca, like my son. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? It's a good photo op right there. Oh yeah, sun is my god, okay? And uh, yeah, bask in the sun. But the tricky thing is that like, you wanna bask in the sun, but you wanna keep moving. You gotta do a hybrid. A uh, hybrid is better. Uh, yeah, even I was thinking, I was like, hmm, even I'm pretty good at making catchy tiles. Like, City of Angels, Dark Skies Over Tokyo, Suits, uh, good photo project ideas. Um, pro tip from Cindy, street photography, street photography starter kit. Starter kit is a good idea. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, just search Eric Kim, uh, open source street photography uh, starter kit. Um, but yeah, you got to keep making, keep innovating, keep making things new. That's that new, new shit. 